here yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do the whole uh, Mr. Rogers put on my apron thing before we get started here. Thank you all for joining me on Tiny House Studio Live. We're on episode number nine tonight. I'm just gonna let this uh, music play out. This is music by Charles D. Hines on Instagram. You can follow him at Charles D. Hines. I'll be right back. I'm gonna let you enjoy this for a second. Are you ready? Where's he? Where are you? Oh, you are not in bed. Yo. Gents, thank you so much for joining us. You are watching Tiny House Studio Live. I am your host, Touche. And we're painting. We're painting tonight. We're painting. Let me uh, let me adjust the, the lighting here. Make it a little bit more comfortable for everybody else, right? All right. So tonight, let's just jump right into it, right? We're painting Sierra Nevada, Canada, uh, yeah, California. I'm also drinking uh, rum and coke, like always. And, uh, I don't know, I drew some stuff here before we got started. So, uh, I'm gonna try to go with a little detail. This might be a longer episode, so feel free to not watch the entire thing, because we're going, we're, we, we, we might go all night, guys. We might go all night. By the way, I thought about something cool. Uh, I'm gonna do this thing in, in, uh, in March, where I'm gonna do the longest live stream painting, and I'm gonna see if I can get on the Guinness World Records. Let me... Because that would be awesome. All right. Without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Uh, where Bob, 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 Bob. Don't be just laying around around here. We need we need you a tent. We need you focused. I need your energy. I need a drink. All right. Guys, you are watching Tiny House Studio Live. I am your host, Touche. Thank you so much for sticking by, tuning in, whatever you're doing currently. Um, you can follow me at Touche. You can follow the guy that's doing this music stuff, which should start very soon, please. SoundCloud, what's going on? Beep! Please pause for station identification. Anyway, music tonight by Charles the Hines. I'm Touche. You're watching Tiny House Studio Live. Let's just, let's just jump right into it. All right, we're painting Sierra Nevada, Sierra, Sierra Nevada, California. You're gonna say it right once. All right, what are we gonna do? So we have blue skies, we have blue water. There's a little bit of a brown thing. We're gonna go really detailed tonight, guys. So lower the volume here. I can't even hear myself think. That's too low. Oh my god, I'm a mess. Oh, we're also having uh, Wi-Fi technical difficulties because I'm in the middle of the Everglades, in the middle of a tiny house, running all of this off solar energy, guys. 100% eco-friendly, sustained. We're drawing the environment. That's, uh, you know, thanks Obama. Start with blues. All right, that's what I said. 
losing weight. Gonna add some of this titanium white onto my palette here. And then we're gonna go ahead and add some of this, uh, remember that matte gel that we used in the previous episode? I'm gonna use that again. Thank you, Charlie, for your music. You're a magical man. That should be good. Add some of the brilliant blue. I'm gonna have to figure out how to open these more abrupt. Anyone who's just joining us right now, please uh, just, you know, know that you're thanked for joining us, whatever that means. And if you're watching this now or in the future or at any point in time, you should like and share this post because you'll be entered into our uh, monthly contest for a painting that I'll paint for you. Yay. Whatever. Let's just get some of this mixed up in here. Let's we'll start with the wash brush. We're going to start with a huge 16 uh, filbert. Let's just get that soaked into the palette. Let's get the sky going here. with the uh, mountain structure that I tried to establish here. Uh, I can do a lot with the sky afterwards, but I really want to make sure... Oh, that's called a drip. We don't want. We don't like drips. That means you soaked. Bob. Bob's sleeping on the job tonight, guys. You're gonna... You're gonna... You're gonna, you're gonna muster it up. You gotta put your shit together. We're live, dog. You know. So sometimes you get a little bit of a drip because you uh, soaked your paintbrush a little too much. It's okay. Happy little mistakes. No problems. I'm blue. I'm going to pretend that's what that says. You can try if you'd like, but I'm not going to try to do it again. For thalocyanine. I don't even know if that's true. I feel like that's a combination of a few words that my brain could say. <laughs> and darken this sky up on top real quick. Imagine space is pretty dark, guys. Person's mind can become confused when suddenly they receive a brutal shock. I didn't believe a man existed who could not be stopped by a slug from a 45. 
Charlie, you know what, man? You gotta keep uh, making music for me. This is beautiful. Charlie's actually working on a one hour track for me, which is freaking crazy. Like, an entire track that won't be on repeat for one entire hour. What do you, what do you do with the, what do you do with the mans like that? You gotta thank him. So everybody, go ahead and thank him. Go to Charles the Hines on Instagram. Like that shit, y'all. Sorry for getting in front of the camera here. A lot of different lighting in this house right now. I'm actually working on the lighting setup. There's one light, two light, three lights. It's not ideal. We're working on everything. Bob, 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 Bob. Sorry. Alright guys, thank you, thank you so much for being here with me. I'm uh I think I'm gonna transition over to uh, I'm probably gonna work on this water first, just because already I have blue on my palette. There's a lot of other things going on. Are, are, are we back? Are we back, guys? The Wi-Fi is... <sighs> please, please, uh, please, the CenturyLink gods, bless me. Because I'm, I'm just, I'm going to have a hard time if you don't. Look, we're just going to move along. I don't know who's watching. I'm just recording this for... So I started this thing, uh, I have a YouTube channel now. And on that YouTube channel, I started uploading all of these videos so that at some point in the future I can go back and see how shitty I was. Okay. I didn't go that far. Guys, I'm trying not to be obscene with my language. Uh, but the S-H-I other word thing that I just said was not... You know, I apologize. I'm not going to do that again. Anyway, we're going to mix a blue here. We're going to go for this Huara. I'm gonna go slow along the bank of the water. Make sure that there's a difference in gradients in the color. I'm gonna stop there. I have a boulder that I'm gonna have to deal with later. And we're gonna just gonna round that. Add a little bit of this other blue here. And go like that. Okay. And then I'm gonna go across the other bank. Really give that a wash though. And in the center there, add that light color of that sky. Let's see. Kinda like that. While you're watching this, I want you to keep in mind that my name is Touche. I have no idea what I am doing. So, um, we're all learning together, you know? This is, uh, this is mostly for me to, uh, you know, if you're sitting there, like, in bed right now, about to go to work tomorrow, like, I don't know, if you're, you're stoned, and just see it, eating there, sitting there eating a bowl of cereal, like, it's all cool, man, like, just, just watch me fucking, uh, damn it, I did it, ah, every time, ah, <sighs> I get too comfortable, and then I let the, the, the F-bombs go, Whatever, okay, you know what, just, every every video is explicit, this isn't meant for children, whatever. Um, just, you know, watch my, watch my crap. Let me know what you think. Also, let me, let me know what you think, let me know what I could do better. Let me know what you don't like, that's, that would help me a lot. Because I'm just doing this on my own, and... Lord knows! <laughs> it can be all hard out here on the streets. Alright, uh, I'm done with my blue for now. 
I'm gonna transition over to a green because that's just what I feel like doing and no one can tell me otherwise. Fuzzy just looked at me with a, like a cockeyed. I'm gonna take that as a go ahead and do what you do. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I do. Guys, just wanna let you know we're brought to you by Herman Williams. That's right, cover your earth. Uh, we're also brought to you in part by Charles the Hines. He's providing our music tonight. Go ahead. Go ahead. Internet, do your thing, you know? Play the music that I just... Come on, seriously. Sorry. We're back. Boy. I'm dying. <coughs> Live on the air. Con, 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 uno, uno. Okay. No, we're gonna just get another drink here, real quick. Tonight, guys, we are drinking Sailor Jerry's. Keeping dose and Coca Cola Zero because it's sugar, it's zero sugar, and it's all the flavor. You know, hashtag Coca Cola, hashtag uh, Herman Williams. It's Sherman. Sponsor me. Send me money. Also, guys, hey, by the way, uh, my paintings are for sale. Go to touche.com. Can you see that? It says, it says touche, right? Yeah, go there. And you can buy my shit. Every painting comes with a video, obviously. And, uh, and my love. In a, in a nice, warm package. I'll heat it up for you. To make it warm. I don't know what that means. Deal with my uh, incompetency. Alright. Cheers. Let's get back to it. I love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna switch palettes here. Add a little bit of this uh, hooker green, because you know what? We're running out of paint. We've only been doing this nine episodes, but this stuff is expensive. This hooker, this hooker green happens to cost $13. Liquitex, I would like for you to sponsor me. I've reviewed a paint. I mean, they are the best paint. Liquitex, please, everybody, if you have a choice in paint, don't, don't hesitate. Call Liquitex. They are not only heavy body, but full medium um, will cost you a fraction of the competition and will be archival and museum quality for years to come. As a matter of fact, they are a lifetime guarantee. And if you have any problems right now, you can call 555-5555. Then it makes a little bit of this yellow here. And you know how you know how green's made, right, guys? This uh, this handy dandy color wheel will tell you that if you grab a yellow and a blue, you can make green. Look, look right there. Yellow, you can't see that yellow plus blue equals green. Uh, let's grab a blue and let's uh, do that ultramarine blue. You know, actually, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this ultramarine blue. We're gonna put it to this side of this yellow because I don't know what's gonna happen, and I bet it's exciting for you, right? I'm excited too. We're gonna grab that blue, and then we're gonna grab this other blue, this brilliant blue, and we're gonna put it on the other side of the yellow. Now when I mix it, I'm just gonna mix it all together and see what happens.
Drum roll, guys. I'm going to add some of this medium to extend the amount of paint that I just created. Alright. And I'm just going to mix that slowly into the colors that I just created. So. Like every palette, you're gonna need some white. And I like to really gradient this stuff, so I'm gonna put a few drops here and work with this different. I don't know if you can tell here, but I have two very different greens here. There's a there's like a I don't know, like a yellow green and a blue green. Okay? So when I mix these, I want to make sure that the different gradients of white separate between this yellow green that I'm creating here on this side right and then this blue green musical music tonight by Charles the Heinz follow him on Instagram Charles the Heinz let me get to it I'm gonna start with this. Uh, I really want to go detailed tonight, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. This might take a little longer than my other videos, just because I really like this picture, and I don't want to do it some disservice. So, this green that I'm that I have here is almost not good enough from what I'm looking at here, because I want to really match this yellow green. So I'm actually gonna add some more. Okay. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you. There's a uh, <laughs> there's, there's a there's a there's a there's a there's an issue. We're gonna have to uh, um, take a five minute break because because um, the the rum and coke is going right through me like the, the the river that we're painting. We'll be back. Enjoy the songs. Sincerely, sincerely apologize for that. Um, here at the Tiny House Studios, we uh, we we happen to when when nature calls, you gotta you gotta pick up the phone, right? Um, actually, while I, while I was outside there, because I'll be completely honest with you, my restroom primarily is is the great outdoors because you're all living wrong. I'm not I'm not doing that wrong. Uh, but but while, while I was outside, the, the sky is like a bright purple right now. I don't know what's going on, but you guys.
got the chance, like, take your phone if you're watching on your phone, go outside, look at it. Alright. Let's do this green. We need some yellows though. Green, yellow, white. It's like one in the same. Remember last time we talked about this uh, cadmium yellow, how it was not radioactive? Well, this was cadmium free, you know? Cadmium free means it's not radioactive. Uh, cadmium used to be radioactive. I don't know anything about this. So, apologize for the ignorance, but I, I happen to find it interesting that people used to be exposing themselves to radioactive materials just to paint. Passion is crazy, huh? Switch up brushes because what I'm about to do is a lot more detailed than what I was just doing.
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Touche. You're watching Tiny House Studio Live. Uh, like and share this post if you want. At this point, I don't give a shit. I've been drinking too much rum and coke. Just tuning in, this is gonna be a long episode. So we're adding unbleached titanium white to our palette here. And then a little bit of this uh, burnt umber, which I so love using. The problem with using black in your canvas is that it, it creates holes. My art teacher, Barbara Mundy. Shout out to Miss Mundy, Palmetto Ridge High. She used to tell me that if you added black, can you hear me at all? I'm sorry. Maybe this is better. She used to tell me if you added black to your campus. I think she phrased it differently, but basically the idea was that if you added black to your canvas, that it created holes in your image. And you don't want that. We don't want no part of that. So, in that vein, we're gonna add, we have burnt umber, we have unbleached titanium white, and now we're gonna add raw sienna. Sorry guys, I've been drinking, you've been watching, Tiny House Studio Live, episode number nine. Guys, we're almost at episode number 10. Do you know what I'm gonna do in episode number 10? This is going horizontal. So now you're gonna have to hold your, your phone like horizontal because I have to start filming this for a different thing. And if I'm gonna film it for a different thing, I have to start filming it in a horizontal fashion. So I apologize for that, but I'm not really that sorry. Um, so, you know, just start holding your phone sideways. It's not that big of a deal. Plus, big things to come, I promise you. What say we get to work, hey? All right. Um, what I've got here is like a like a tan, right? This is not the brush that I want to use for that. We're gonna go small. We're here using a uh, a filbert. What kind of filbert, you asked? I'll tell you, maybe. No, I won't. You know, I painted over the number. We're not even gonna find out what type of filbert that is. Guys, I dropped so much paint on the floor, my feet are like completely green right now. All right, cool. Who cares? I don't know. Just letting them know. Thanks. All right, cool, whatever. Sorry, talking to myself. I need, I need a, I need a, a gray. So, what is this? It almost like a, like, like a blue gray. So I'm gonna actually put that on my blue palette here. 
this is gonna be very strange. I'm not sure if this is gonna turn out very well. I'm gonna experiment here because the colors that I'm looking on this picture slightly deceiving me. And when things deceive me, I tend to dig deeper. Like a reporter, you see? Yeah. When I get to the bottom of this case, y'all. Alright. There's this shadow here. This rock. I'm just gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint them as I see them. like to talk. I also apologize if I just drone on and on and on. I tend to do that when I like what I'm doing. And what now? What, what, what now? What now? That's a word. That's, that's words. What, what I'm doing right now is um, I'm just Looking at this, seeing where the colors that I have on this paintbrush match with what the colors that are on here, and I'm just putting them there. Will it work in the end? Who the hell knows, guys? We're all learning together. No one's perfect. We're not even trying to be. We're just trying to be happy. Ain't that the goal? And you can see what I'm doing here because if you can't then I'm sorry but I'm not moving right now because I'm on the roll I find that it's really important that when you're on a streak you shouldn't break it if you find that you like what you're doing right now 